This is unit four, lecture one. Unit four concludes with three different lecture. This is the very first lecture of unit four. Unit four is the biggest unit of CSI net syllabus. is the largest syllabus. So in this lecture one, we are going to talk about cell signaling pathways, cell communication methods. We'll also talk about host pathogen interaction. Host pathogen interaction. Uh, involves microbiology especially the medical microbiology portion and the number written after this subtopic denotes the total number of questions you can expect from this subtopics in cell signaling pathways approximately one question in host pathogen interaction either one or two question although it seems like a half but it should be one slash two now what I want to talk about the cell signaling here is regarding uh, the different types of cell signaling that we have. You know, normally, we have two different types, two different modes of cell signaling continues. One is a slow mode, another one is a very fast mode of cell signaling. The slow mode continues uh, kind of minutes to hours, whereas the fast mode continues oh, in less than seconds. Okay? In our body, we have this kind of signaling pattern. And whenever we discuss about cell signaling, either it's a signaling between neighboring cells or signaling between the cells of different tissue. Both these things are important because our body works uh, like all the tissues together as a single unit. So it's not like just a whole body functioning alone. It's like every single cell communicating with one another. That makes us working the way our body works. So that's why there are a few signaling process very, very fast and few signaling process really slow. But what makes a signaling very fast or slow, that depends on... Uh, which route the cell signaling actually takes inside the cell. Normally, if you're thinking about a cell signaling process where we have extracellular signaling molecule, which will bind with the surface receptor, binding of the signaling molecule with the surface receptor is going to signal. And the signal inside the cell uh, can take two routes. One is that signal is via cytoplasm and the proteins that are present in the cytoplasm. So alteration of the proteins that are present in the cytoplasm leads to the altered cytoplasmic machinery that leads to a certain kind of cellular impact. And that kind of impact will be much, much faster. And generally, any sort of uh, process that link with our metabolism is actually with this very fast response. Because in metabolic pathways, our body needs a few things very, very fast. For example, glycogen metabolism, that breakdown of glycogen into glucose and release of glucose into the bloodstream is a thing that we need very, very fast, almost instantly. That's why we use this, this fast process of cell signaling inside the cell. Now, apart from that, uh, there is slow process for cell signaling. It takes about minutes to even hours when the cell signaling molecule binding to the receptor and that receptor is in turn activating other transcription factors. And those transcription factors protein will ultimately go inside the nucleus and then transcribe uh, the specific required DNA into RNA. And then that RNA is transported into the cytoplasm and then they will make protein and then the impact will be visible. So this is long time consuming. It's because uh, the signaling molecule ultimately produces transcription factor and the transcription factor needs to do its job and going inside the nucleus then making the RNA and transferring RNA to the cytoplasm. So it takes a long time. Example for this kind of signaling, somatostatin release. Now this kind of signaling is a kind of signal dependent or what we can say is a response dependent signaling process while this uh, fast signaling process is also response dependent but this mode is much faster compared uh, to this two. There are four major forms of intracellular and intercellular sync signaling that is available. One is uh, contact dependent cell signaling. Contact dependent signaling requires both the cells involved in the cell signaling in physical contact. That means, you know, uh, the surface receptor of those cells need to contact with one another. And this kind of signaling is very common in our immune system, okay, where the immune system cells like T helper cells, with uh, they contact with the macrophage or they interact with other cells of the immune system and they convey their message by direct physical contact between the cells. The second type is known as a paracrine signaling. And the paracrine signaling, what happens? 
we have a signaling cell and we also have the receiver cells. And the receiver cells are present very nearby or very close vicinity of the signaling cell. So signaling cell releases the signal, uh, signaling molecule which will bind to the receptor in the local uh, cells and the target cells are placed locally. Then that signal is very regional in some part of our body and tissue. Then we have endocrine signaling which is a very similar version of that of paracrine signaling. But in endocrine signaling, the signaling molecule travels long distance in our body through the bloodstream. That's the difference. And the example of this endocrine signaling is hormone and any other endocrine system, you know, the link with this hormone mediated signaling pathway. And then finally, we have synaptic signaling. Synaptic signaling is the fastest among these four. And why? Because synaptic signaling involves a contact between nerve cells from even the nerve cells that are present in your brain and uh, that nerve cell or part of the central nervous system connecting the foot or toe of your body. So it's, it's a long distance uh, signal, but that signal is very, very fast. So here you can see this is the near distance signal, both contact dependent and paracrine. But in these two cases, in this one uh, contact dependent and paracrine also nearby. But for the long distance uh, signaling in our body, there are also two types of slow signaling, which is actually this hormone based signaling or endocrine signaling, although it's distance, uh, distance signaling, but it is slow. But the same distance signaling, but fast is synaptic signaling process. So now let's uh, start to talk about uh, the components of cell signaling and cell communication. 